Right now, the Second Street Bridge full of traffic once again after a crash and dramatic rescue seen by millions around the world. It comes as city officials begin piecing together just exactly what happened Friday afternoon in the moments leading up to a multi car crash that left a semi truck dangling over the Ohio River for hours. It's our top story tonight on the night team. Thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Leonard and for Alex. After 24 hours of around the clock repairs and exams, Kentucky transportation officials say the bridge is safe for drivers. The Second Street Bridges reopening was one of several updates shared Saturday as crews evaluate what, if any changes, may be necessary in the bridge's future. The night team's Connor Steffen and photojournalist Aspen Hester tell us what's next. As day turned to night. Oh, so they already fixed it? Wonderful. Glowing strides of headlights once again fill Louisville's 2nd Street Bridge. I got goosebumps. I was scared. Its reopening drew just as many curious stares as the crash itself 24 hours ago. As the world has now seen in a semi truck going through the guardrail, hanging off the bridge. From the chilling scene over the Ohio. First, I said, is that really a truck hanging off the bridge? To the dramatic midair rescue. This is what they do. That's why they got into that place. Fashion. As the scene replays in the minds of many, city officials are sharing updates on the crash that caused it. Mr. Ballinger and I are happy to take any questions from the media. Based on early LMPD findings, it began when a driver hit a stalled car on the bridge. The driver of that car then lost control, crossing into the oncoming lane of traffic and colliding with the Cisco truck. The impact launched the truck driver into the guardrails. And then ultimately hanging off the bridge. Greenberg says the crash left one of the two car drivers with serious injuries and the truck driver okay, but understandably shaken up. She is incredibly brave. She is incredibly fortunate. I'd be worried about falling in the river. I'm scared of heights. Keith Mason had a front row seat to his worst fear as he watched everything unfold from his hotel room window at the Gulf House. Well, I watched it a little while. Yeah, it was just uh, something that you don't see every day. Yesterday's incident was something that's extremely rare and unusual. And here are some numbers for you to really put into context just how rare Friday was. In the last five years, KYTC has only seen 20 cross lane crashes like this one. That's a time span when an estimated 40 million vehicles have crossed this bridge. Kenny Keaton is one of those 40 million. It was very frightening when I seen it. Who not only drives over it. I take pictures and post it to Facebook. But admires the 95 year old structure's history. Hopefully there's not too much work for them to do. Our engineers will also continue to examine short term and long term improvement opportunities. As crews look to future fixes, many are counting their blessings. Having witnessed something they hope never happens again. In downtown Louisville, Connor Steff in the WHAS 1119 on your side. And Cisco, the company that owns the semi, thanked rescuers in a statement saying in part, we are thankful our Cisco colleague is safe and has been discharged from the hospital. Special thanks to firefighter Bryce Carden. We salute you. While the Second Street Bridge is reopened to drivers, KYTC officials say its sidewalks remain closed out of an abundance of safety.